y'all what's up welcome back to my channel y'all know i got another message for y'all y'all already know i got one but i just want to first start off by saying thank y'all so much like i really appreciate all the support i appreciate you guys subscribing the likes in the comments i really do because it lets me know that my mistakes didn't go in vain it really do because i'm able to share with you guys my lesson so you won't get tripped up on the stumbling blocks that I did in my life. So I want to start off by praying. Y'all know we got to welcome Jesus in our space. We got to get it going and we got to just let him meet us where we are. So let's just pray together, y'all. Let's let's say a little prayer together. So I love you so much, God, and I just thank you. And I just want to welcome you into our space, Jesus, wherever we are, meet us there, God. I ask you to continue to love us, Jesus, but I just ask you more importantly to teach us your way, God. Let us know that your way is the way that will direct us on the path of righteousness, God, and it will give us that peace and that love and that joy, Jesus. I ask that we get in a mindset that we able to block out the world preferences preferences and perception of us, God, but we able to walk in your truth and your worthiness of us, God. I love you so much. And I just ask God that you just continue to heal our hearts, God, and you continue to renew the spirit of our mind because we need it, Jesus. We need mental healing and physical healing and emotional healing, God. We just need you in our lives, Jesus. Amen. And my scripture, well, the scripture is coming from Deuteronomy. What a word, huh? Uh, chapter 31, verse 6. And it says, be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doeth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Oh, I know we had some it's it's. I know we had a lot of that going on. So I'm about to, I'm gonna just go through it and I'm gonna break it down on how I was able to understand it. Be strong and of good courage. And for me, this is saying like be strong, like really be strong mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. Like find your place of strength. Find it. And you know that place is with God. Be of good courage. And you know, courage is not a fearless state. But it's a state where you have the ability and you're walking in that standing up against fear. Like you're standing up against fear. You're standing up against doubt. You're standing up to yourself and your negativity. You're standing up against the uncertainty and you're like, no more. Like this is it. You're being courageous. But then he come back and he comes behind it and say, fear not. So have no fear, even being courageous while you're being courageous, have no fear, have no fear, fear not, nor be afraid of them. Meaning don't be afraid of the opposers. Don't be afraid of the people who say you can't do it, you wouldn't do it. Don't be afraid of the people that wasn't meant for your walk anyway. Don't be afraid of the people that says that you you don't have the ability to do it. Don't be afraid of them. Don't worry about what others are saying. Don't even worry about what your what that mind that little negativity that's going on in your mind. Ignore that. Don't be afraid of that. For the Lord thy God, He is with you. He is with you. He is with you right where you stand. That's why He's saying, "Fear not. Don't worry. Don't don't worry about nothing." You know, I'm stepping you into newness. Yes, it's different faces. It's different spaces. You're going to different places, but be a, be be encouraged. Have strength. You know, don't don't fall for the trickery of the enemy. Don't allow your negativity to dumb you down and make you feel like you're less worthy. Don't worry about what. Don't worry about your past and your past mistakes. Like he's creating a new thing like right now. And he's letting you know, fear not. Don't, don't, just don't have fear. Wherever he's taking you right, where, wherever you are, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially, wherever you are, fear not. Fear not. I don't care what's going on. Fear not. 
because God is with thee. He is with you. He's with you right where you are. And I know it's hard to comprehend because he's so invisible. So it's like, I, I can't get it. But that's the thing. The opposite of fear is faith. You have to believe it to see it. You have to believe God first to see him work in your life. And that's going to require you to fear not and be strong and be courageous. He also says he will not fail thee. Like he will not fail you. I know they have people in your life that has abandoned you, that has caused trauma. You have caused trauma in your own life by your own decisions. But he says he, he will not fail you. So when you when you stepping out in this newness, when you're stepping out and you're facing this newness and fear is there, doubt is there, uncertainty is there, do not fear because Jesus will not fail you. He will not fail you. He's not leaving you. He is right there with you in the midst of it all, nor will he forsake you. So they add that in. It's like, he will not fail thee, nor will he forsake you. I know you have people that left you. We know this. I have people that left me, but Jesus won't. And that requires you to believe it. That requires you to have faith. And I know it's like, you have to get your mind to, okay, first of all, is mental, is your mind. And then you have spirit, two different things. Logic and spirit are two different things. So you have to find a way to believe. You have to, that's your responsibility to find a way to believe God. Think back on some things that you probably shouldn't have got through. It wasn't because you was wise or you was lucky. Uh, you know, it was because God was with you. And we all had experiences like that. Think about when you was coming up short on certain things, but somehow a way was made because that was God. So he is always with you, but now you have to start being more conscious of him, like really tuning into him, start to look for him in different areas. Like, you know, we want to, women, we want to go out here looking for our husband. Men, you want to go out here looking for your wives. We always looking for something outside ourselves. Go and look for Jesus. Go and look for God. Go and look for the Holy Spirit. Like look for, seek these things. Because when you begin to seek that, God will show himself to you. He will re reveal himself to you. And then your mind will grasp it. Your mind would have it. And then once your mind have it, then you will have the feelings. And then once you have the feelings, then you will be able to express the emotion. And then once you express the emotion, then you can walk in that faith of God. You can walk in that belief of God. You can feel him even though you can't even see, see him. So be strong and of good courage, y'all. Face, face it. Face that doubt. Anytime you're stepping into newness, because I believe that we all are stepping into newness, like the whole nation. We all step into newness every day we wake up. But you have to make a decision every day that you're going to be strong and you're going to step in with courage. And you're not going to have fear. You have to decide not to have fear. And instead of having fear, you have to have faith. You have to intentionally say, you know what? I usually worry about this, but today I'm not. You know what? I usually get upset about this, but today I'm not. And continue, continuously do it because practice makes it, it makes improving. I don't want to say practice make perfect, but practice, it makes perfect. It gets you prepared. Like it really sets you up where you now have a new default setting. Like you're now set into faith. You're now set into belief. You're now set into trusting in God. Um, nor be afraid of them. You know, it's easy to be when everybody is for you, but just be you when everybody is against you because God with you and he won't fail you and he won't forsake you. So you don't have to worry about what's outside you. God is a personal relationship. God is a relationship with you on you and him. That's it. That's it. You and him. It's not you, him and others. It's not you, him and other opinions. It's you and him. 
you and him, you and him, not you and him and family, you and him and friends, you and, you and him, you and him. And what he think of you is the only thing that matters. What he say about you is the only thing that matters. And he know you are worthy. It's just for you to discover that within yourself. So be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he is with you. He, he with you with it. He walking right along with you with it. He will not fail thee nor forsake thee. And you have to believe it because he can't lie. He won't lie. So the reason why I tell y'all to get in the scripture, you know, is to allow the Holy Spirit to come in. But it's also, so when you read his words, it will resonate with you. Like you will feel it within and believe it. When you read it, say this is truth. Like, this is truth. This is truth. This this is real for me. Embrace it is real because when you begin to embrace God is being more real than the things that you can see and touch, you have tapped into something. You have something then. So I love y'all so much and I know I kind of went on and but I just pray that it really helped. I, I really pray that it really helped and you know, it was said so I'm trusting that it was it was meant to be said. And if this video and all my videos only touch the hearts of touch the heart of one person, I am so grateful because I do this for God. Like I do this for God. I am such a private person. I am so in my own space that for me to get on here, this is this is giving glory to God. For me to get on here every night and to have a message, this is God in full effect. Like if, if you want to know, if you want to see something that God did, look at me, look at my video. This is him because I cannot, would not, shall not, shan't not, must not get on here every night and talk because it's just too much in my personal space. But God, God, boy, God will come and... You don't need no 10 step plan. You don't need the process. It when God speaks to you, it's like boom, like it's it is done. It is done. So I love y'all so much, and I'll talk to y'all next time. Mwah.